Hello YouTube, it is Damien, it is the Rise of a Nation, it is episode 149. Today we have Hertha Berlin in our second ever quarterfinal in the Champions League. Nine seasons of Champions League football, only our second ever quarterfinal. The players that we've had in the past, Orbrest, uh, let's see, Orbrest, Ortiz, Penna, uh, let's also see about other people going through, Morton, Oscar Sandu, um, you know, the list can go on and on and on and on. Eugene Neff, uh, you know, um, Munizaga was here for one of them. With all those sort of players we just mentioned, how on earth have we only been to one quarter final in, in, in the Champions League before? And to be fair, on that day, we should have been through against Sevilla. Yes, Zahora deserves a mention in that list. Why not? as well. Since we last met, we've actually lost the game in the league. We got absolutely offended by Midland, uh, first game in the Champions Cup uh, group. We did well undefeated yet again and up until that point. We always seem to lose one game a season. Um, but yeah, look, uh, fully rotated as you can see, kind of rotated everybody we could. Um, had 11 shots, probably deserved to win. Got absolutely the FM, do you think? And then, yeah, look, is what is. I always get worried when that happens, especially when you play Berlin in like a week space. Because we can lose to Midtjylland, we can lose to Berlin in Germany. All of a sudden, though, I have to rotate against Copenhagen. I lose there. You've lost three games in a row. You haven't lost three games in a row probably in like two or three years. Right, you need to beat Berlin at home. You've lost three games in a row. Let's hope it doesn't get to that stage. If we do lose to Berlin here today, I am going to be very tempted to play a full strength side against Copenhagen to just get the form back. But uh, you know what's going to happen here? We're going to go win this game anyway, so who freaking cares? Since we last met, though, no real injuries. Everyone's back and everybody's fit, but, and our team picks itself. As much as it's crazy to say, this guy has been sensational this year. Hannibal the Animal came to me. I can't stress this enough. Came to me and said, I want to be playing more football. And I actually said, you know what? I'm going to stand by you. Yeah, why not? You can play this advanced playmaker and attack run pretty well. Why not? Go do it. Since then, the rest is history. Two against Man City. He's got four in the league with six assists. But in the cup, he's got four goals. That's fine because we played no one particularly great. But in the Champions League, boys, four games, one off the bench, three starts, five goals at an eight. The man has literally been next level. And that's where all my players are judged. By how well can he play in the Champions League? And the veteran midfielder, Hannibal the Animal, has literally gone, you can't play Champions League time without me this season. Because I deserve to play. And it's true. There we are. The rest of the team picks itself. We're in a very good form. Herbert Berlin themselves find themselves, I think, sixth in the Bundesliga. It is sixth. And as you can see here, a bit patchy, you know. Um, they came through in Group E, where they topped the group with Liverpool in the group. As you can see here, they at home won three games. They beat Lazio 1-0. But they did lose to Liverpool and Valencia away from home. Kind of tells me what we've always said about a lot of the teams that we kind of play. Very good at home and a little bit suspect away from home. They're a team that I look at and go, we can get at them. You know, they're not a team that's really gone ballistic at any big game at the minute. All right, and there we are. And then they got, um, in the Champions League, they got Napoli, which is a very kind draw. Um, and did the job that they needed to do. But as you can see there, they lost to Hamburg, they lost to Bayern, they lost to Leipzig. They just played Armenia Bielfield to get them back in the form. But um, I think, really, there's a good game for me to get out here. You know, they come to sit six in the Bundesliga. If there's ever a time that you're like, well, you should make the semi-final of the Champions League, this is it. We did have a very similar game against Sevilla, though, a long time ago. Campos missed a few big one-on-ones. I feel like today we have to score an away goal. That day there, we didn't score an away goal, we lost 1-0. There's two things that has to happen. Clean sheet or an away goal. Both would be incredible, right? But one of the two. I would rather take the away goal. I'd rather lose the game 2-1 than I would take 0-0. I know that sounds strange, but I back us to win 1-0, 2-0, whatever at home. And I know that if we have the away goal, we can draw an aggregate and get through. But if it finishes 0-0 here, it just means any goal scored result in Denmark, which could happen as well. Berlin could score one, we could score one and then don't score. We're out. I'd rather have 2-1 up my sleeve. That away goal is so important. That's why I like playing the away leg first. Yeah, when you play the home tie first, you get the extra half an hour in the second leg if it goes extra time to get an away goal. But um, I feel like here, rather take a 2-1 loss than a 0-0. I'm actually going to predict this game's going to finish 1-0. But I would love to see your predictions here as well. The other semi-final, we do have Valencia Man United here on the same day. And hopefully we will be okay. Your team is, though, in very good form when they have played together. A bad balloon, Renshin, Carlos, and I. Neri, Ronald, and Hannibal the Animal. Nildo out wide has been absolutely fantastic with Jefferson on the other side with Lars up top. 
We are in for a treat here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and we are going to go through this Herva Berlin side, a team we have not played yet in the save, which is pretty incredible that we're, what, 16 seasons in, 17 seasons in, we haven't played a side, um, and we've been in the Champions League for nine of them. Um, in terms of names that I know, um, I think Ozcan I know that name there. I'm trying to think of other names. I'm pretty sure this guy was playing in... Um, oh, my God, they got Paddy Hall, my former midfielder. Paddy Horn's there. Oh, we're going to have a look at Paddy. Um, great opportunity to show you guys uh, what we can do here, but we are going to go and just do that. But they've got Paddy Hall and Unreal. So they've got Matthew, the keeper, the 28-year-old um, Englishman international, does look pretty good in goals. Timo on the right-hand side is a... F oh, yeah, you're pretty elite for a fullback. Far out, he's quick. Um, Josip, um, Josip looks pretty good there too. He's very enthusiastic. He looks pretty incredible as well. Um, Samuel uh, is probably the centre-back out of the two we have to get at. He's very good but he's a little bit slower. Um, they, 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 okay, so at the back, they are world class. Alexandra at CDM can play as, he's a very good centre back, glad he's not playing back on line. Um, Umar is very elite as well. Wow, this team's on drugs. Reina is very good as well. I feel like he played somewhere else, somewhere big before moving here. Um, Vander, Vandas is very quick and he's very world class. The Czech international 100 caps. Imre Can Ozcan is a guy that has been tutored to me many times. A 24-year-old is world-class. On paper, they have a better team than me. And Kale Ringberg is unreal as well. Um, they've got backup goalkeeper on the bench. 21-year-old with a little bit of potential. Richard van der Muller is not particularly great, but okay. Paddy Horn, my former man, we sold. And then he's obviously gone over to Hover Berlin after we sold him to... I think we sold him into... Um, somewhere, but yeah. Gil Herme in the middle. Gonzalez Martins there at DM as well. Thomas Flores, the defender, looks pretty good. And then Philip van der Heinden is the last man on the bench. Looks pretty quick. Um, but in saying that, pretty quick, he isn't the greatest. I feel like what I would say is their starting 11 is better than my starting 11. But my bench has probably got a little bit more quality than their bench in certain areas. I feel like they've got probably the better midfield changes. I've got better... Um, options probably with Carlos coming in and Nielsen in form to probably come into this game. And saying that, they, we did just lose one nil. so if they were really in form, who knows. All right, score predictions in the chat. I think we're going to win this game. Do I? One all draw is what I'm going to predict. I won't get off the fence. Uh, Dim's predicting 2-1. I don't know. It's going to be massive. I don't have any concerns. We prefer it in a professional manner. Um, let's not be so negative to the match. They're going to be outstanding. A bad has been in good form, and hopefully we will be okay. Have a bullion in the white. We're going to be in the black here, obviously, in the, the away tie. And then, obviously, us in our famous white in the second leg. Hopefully, we will be A-OK -okay here. And hopefully, we can do the job. Shake hands with Thomas Tuchel, and away we go. Our second ever quarterfinal in the Champions League. And we're underway here on the key highlights. And away we go. Can't come, thank you. Five minutes played. Nil-nil, here we go. What a time to call in the Champions League quarter final. Not happening. 15 minutes played. Not a highlight yet. Look, if someone said nil nil, I wouldn't be upset. But at the same stage, no way goal. They started to dominate the ball here. 4 3 3 versus 4 3 3. And hopefully we will be okay. 30 minutes played. Yet a highlight. I'm just going to tell us demand a little bit more. You know, I don't want this to be like West Ham like two years ago where we didn't take the risk either. But at the same stage, you know, this game's had no quality. Throw in though. Ibe, Ronald, Jefferson, ball to Ibe, cut it back, he does, Ronald, ball in, that's cleared away, it's going to be their ball, and it's M that Osman, Emre, Chan, Voke, who's going to run, it's them on the break, here he goes, good run from him, still going, in the end he fires across the face, the only highlight is a solo effort from Heather Berlin, nil nil here, approaching half time, they've probably had the better of the half, we haven't looked particularly great, I feel like their quality has really shone through. Highlight from kickoff. You don't want to see that with them taking kickoff, do you? Ahmed. Buna Reina. Chips one out there to Emre Chan. This is the guy we need to do something about. Getting on the run. Ball in. That's a goal. Oh, my God. A bad with a fucking save from six yards out. The boys just fell asleep. No one's doing anything about him. Fucking, he's just running through like he's got space and time. Show him what he's on the left hand side. So show him down the left hand side. Don't let him cut inside you. They are all over us, really. It's not happening at the minute. I'm gonna make a change here in a second. Hannibal's having his 
first not great game. Oh, it's a highlight just as we're about to make a change. Good ball in two, headed at goal. Bloom clears away, falls to Lars. We're good on the break here. We need to hold it up here, though. We're out for Jefferson to get past you. He doesn't. Like, come on, man. You got It's one against, like, four. Just step on it, turn, play, keep it. Instead, yeah, fuel the fire and let them fucking come back at you again. They are all over us. They're picking us apart. They deserve to be ahead. We're throwing away this quarterfinal at the minute. Ball over the top. Sander now with a chance. Ball back over the other side to Alexander. Into Rinberg. Vanders. Rinberg needs you a bad. Good block. Come on, Carlos. Somehow this game is nil-nil. Make the change before fucking a goal goes in. Nildo comes in here. Winger on support. Right. Allow him to get the ball a bit deeper. Carlos comes in. Bang. First change. It's not really happening out there at the moment, but... Get Nildo on the ball a little bit deep and driving from areas. Maybe it'll be okay. 60 odd minutes played. I don't want to go 4 4 2. I don't want to change this game and open myself up more. Time's still ticking. 68, 69, 70. Oh, a clean sheet right now is great, but at the same stage, don't think it's going to happen. Carlos apparently is dead. Don't know how you're dead. Just come on. Jose Ramion for Jefferson, like for like. He can come inside, he can link up play. Come on, there's got to be a moment here somewhere for us. Time ticks, throw in. It's not the actual Emre Chan. It's Oz it's and Emre Chan. He's unreal, the Turkish man. He is, he's world class. He's their best player. Sunara, ball out to Paddy Horn, our former man in the Emre Chan. Just, we're just dying down this side. Bloom has not been able to deal with him at all. What a run. Deserves a goal of bad saves. He is literally carving us alive. I'm going to go for it. Fuck it. Neri's going to come into here. Bloom's having a stinker. Wing back on defender, sit. Nielsen, last gasp. Flop it around the other way. And there we are. 10 minutes to go. I've gone 4 2 to find a goal. Will it happen? Ren Sheng. A bad. Nildo. This is where we want him. Ronald. Jose. Two up top. Nielsen, make the run. Nielsen, make the run. Oh, he's not going to use him. He's going to go for goal. Why are we not just slip the ball through the channel? He's got two against two, just put it in the space. Big moment. And Jose Ramirez went for glory himself. That's why you got to slip him in. Ball goes long. Can we win that on the press? Oh, I've done so well. Ball down the line. Jose Ramirez. Ball. Lars. Big moment. Oh, straight at the keeper. Switching the 4-4-2. We look dynamite. Could have been 2-0 up. Instead, it's 0-0. We don't deserve to be 2-0 up at all. They've been all over us. That's going to be offside, surely. Yeah, there we go. All right. Have you pressed everyone? I haven't on purpose because I want to leave myself open at the back. It's kind of morph. If they score from a set piece, I'll be livid. They have. Fuck off. See what I mean? Missed two massive chances. One nil down to Berlin. Oh, that's so unlucky. Time ticks away. Five minutes of added time. All she wrote. Highlight. If we could, if we go 2-0 down now, I'll be livid. Stand to throw. He's got to win, does it? Ball to kill her, mate. Red. Oh, my God. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. It's in. It's game over. We can see it in the 88th to the 96th minute. And we're 2-0 down, and it's all but over. And we're going to go out in the quarterfinal of the Champions League yet again. Oh, that is what? Oh, yeah. Fuck, should have just stayed 4 3 and played for 0 0. What a dickhead I am. Went for glory. Would have, in hindsight, though, if we score our two chances, we're the team celebrating. Fucking hell, Damien. Just had to fucking be. Just switch on. 2 0 down's fine. 2 0 down's fine, sorry. 1 0 down's okay. We can do that. Instead, we're out. We're gone. We're fucking dusted. See you later. It, it, anything can happen in Denmark, but from 2-0 down, we ain't, we ain't winning 2-0. We haven't conceded, we've conceded what? Three goals all tournament, we just conceded two in a game. See what I mean? Or lose, lose, a, lose a game in the league and then bang, a bad performance in Germany. Oh my. Switch 4-4-2, went for it. In the end, this boy here, this boy here, not him, Jose Ramayun, Jose Ramayun, cost us, cost, cost us. Cost us big time, that boy. If he fucking slips through Nielsen, one-on-one, -on -one, massive moment. Said he took it on himself, went for glory, fucking sputs at it. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper at nil-nil. If he hits it across the keeper, it's one-nil, no dramas. Instead, he's missed two big chances. Every time so far in the quarterfinal of the Champions League, we've had Campos miss two big chances, and Ramion's now missed two big chances. 
and it's going to root a cost us. We need to come back from 2-0 down in the second leg here in Denmark. Anything will be possible. But I'm going to tell you right now, it ain't going to happen. Because we're going to either have to play 4-4-2 and we're going to concede on the break. Or we're going to play 4-3-3 and they're going to dictate us again. I don't know which way to go about it. But yeah, we're probably going out. It's frustrating because it's so open for us right now. But instead, we're 2-0 down and it's all, all to do in Denmark. Firing an amazing comeback, we are gone. And it's going to be another year of pain, another year of hurt, and another year where we have to wait to win this bloody Champions League. Welcome back, YouTube. It is time for the second leg versus Hertha Berlin. We have it all to do after losing 2-0 and thinking about it solely my fault. Uh, you know, hindsight's a beautiful thing because if Jose scores or sets through Nielsen and we, we get the goal away goal, it looks great. It's tactically brilliant. But, you know, it's 0-0. Yeah, we're being pummeled, but they yet to score against the 4-3. Really, in hindsight, we should stay 4-3 and play for the 0-0 nil -nil draw. Um, I guess once you can see the one, you kind of go for it. And the second one's just stupid ass from FM going, oh, it's a nice six minute, but we'll give him a highlight. Just, as soon as you see the highlight, you know you're conceding. Unless you win the ball back and you put one ball down the channel. But yeah, it's one of those ones. I've toyed with the idea of playing 4-4-2 and not. Main reason why is that if we concede, and we concede first, if we go 4-4-2, they hit us on the break, we need 4 I'd rather us play the 43 and then they did score even though we're trying to play controlled possession system where we've only, look, we've only conceded five goals all tournament. Two of those goals in the group stage. One goal against Juve, right? And then two against Herva, right? It, it, we haven't been bad defensively. And history would suggest that at home we're not really going to concede in the 43. You don't think. So for me, knowing that, Knowing the fact we just beat Juve at home 2-0 and we didn't even give him a shot on target. We also played Juve the year before in the Europa League. And you've got to remember, we're 1-0 down that day. We're 1-0 down in the first leg, right? We came back, we absolutely sputzed them 4-1 in the 4-3-3. There's history suggests we can do this. For me, if we get the first goal in the first 20 minutes, we can do it. But we'll wait and see what we can do. And hopefully, it will be enough to do exactly what we need to do. Your team is actually the same team that lost 2-0. Mainly because up until the 80th minute and I changed, we were keeping clean sheet. Yeah, Emre Chan, not the Emre Chan, but the Ozan Emre Chan did do bloom in. I'm going to stay by him. He's club captain. He has not really put a foot wrong as that for one game, really, in his whole time here. And he is here again on loan, which is silly for Man United, but yeah. A bad's in goals. Bloom, Renshen, Carlos and Ibe. Neri, Ronald, Hannibal. Nudo, Jefferson, and Nielsen. Look, Hannibal's in there because he can do something out of nothing. And if I have to move 4 4 2, he's the guy that comes straight off. You know, N Neri and Ronald together, Nildo and Jefferson with Nielsen, and probably then, um, sorry, Lars, and then probably Nielsen off the bench. Uh, we have gone like that. I am going to make one last little change. Wurtz is going to make the bench for Alves, just in case we need a strike. Actually, no, nah, we got. um. We've got um, Musa that can play up front. Never mind. I will put Jose Rami on back on the bench as well. But ideally, would not like to use him if possible. Look, it's a team that can do it, but we need to score first. And hopefully, we can. I'm actually going to go and go to this boy and just say, hey, hey, hey. Your last few games haven't been good enough. Recent form. You have been... I know you haven't been scoring, but I have every faith to get back to, to, to ways. Yeah, his recent form's not been good. But come on, son. You're due. You're due, Lars. We know how world-class you can be. I think that's your team, boys. I think that's your team. We can do this. Port it to know Bayern Munich did get through. So if we somehow got through, it would be Bayern in the semi. We've been to the quarterfinal stage once before. We missed rude chances to go out. We've, we've rued our chances again from Jose. Hopefully, though, we don't ruin him here. That does look like the same team that played against us, wasn't it? It is the same team. Ah, oh, no. They've changed the wing backs around because Santa there was on the other side, wasn't he not? We got like that. We all press. I'm actually going to take off the press there. So Emre's now playing on the right, which is beats his running at eye, which is not the worst. And Tim's on the left. The 21-year-old looks unreal. Carlo's still up top. But what have they done here? Like, Sebastian's gone on the right-hand side. He looks good. Because I reckon he was on the left. I reckon they've actually just switched these two around for the day. Interesting. Anyhow, you never know. Look, that is a world-class side. It's the same side that just beat us. So, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll be all right. Let's hope and pray. Score prediction in the chat. Dim reckons 4-1. That would be nice. It's us here at Infamous White. It's Herbert Berlin in the 
you know, in their away streak in the red. For me, there's only one thing left to say before a game like this. We're in Denmark. It's Denmark, baby, and anything is possible. If we score before the 20th minute, off we go. I'm going to go brave. We're winning this game 3 0. Away we go. 2 0, we go through on pens. I reckon AJ, I'll take that too. We need to start well. We haven't started well here 10 minutes in. They are world class, man. They are world class. I'm going to encourage them. Hey, play your football. It's not happening at the moment. We are getting absolutely robbed by Herbert Berlin. They are world-class on paper. In there, we can win that here. Ronald does. Lars, beat your man. Come on, jig inside. He does. Lars, oh, it's a good save from Ketchell. And that's our issue at the minute. We just can't buy a goal. We really can't buy a goal, especially from Lars. Jefferson, Nildo. Big moment here. Finds Jefferson. Cuts it. Ronald. Neri, not known for his shooting ability. And in the end, don't give that ball away. Fuck me. That was a heart-and-mouth moment. But look, our first chance shot on target, it's not done enough. 30 minutes played, this game is slipping away to be fair. We're just not doing enough with the ball. Not doing enough with the ball at all. Time ticks away. Wow, this half is just gone. Corner, could you imagine one time? Little corner routine, one nil. Nildo cuts it, Jefferson needs a good ball. Goes for goal. Oh, just cut it, man. We've just made every wrong decision going forward. Half time, nil nil. I'm not going to wait around. <laughs> not going to wait around. We're going to go to that. Nilda's going to play out wide on one side. Jefferson on the other. Hannibal and Ronald. Neri is actually going to come off. I will leave Hannibal out there just to try and do something. We'll go to that. We'll start the second half. 4 4 2. Off we go. Gonna just go and press them as well. We need a goal early in this half. Oh, just fucking couple moments, couple moments, couple moments. I've really set up not to do much. Come on, boys. We need a goal. We need it now. Nielsen's come on. Lars is out there. Time ticking away. Highlight. Look, if we can get one before the 75th, you never know. Bloom, Nildo. Still would send the Bloom. Going on a run by himself. Still going. Cuts at Hannibal. Knows how to score. Lars. Nielsen. It's a chance, boys. It's a chance. 58 minutes played. Nielsen off the bench. The wonder kid, the Brazilian. He's 20 for the year. Makes it 1-0. Press everyone. We need the ball back. Don't worry. We've already done that. There is a chance. The 4-4-2's come up clutch. In the end, Lars. Good touch. Beats two with the touch and the pass. And Nielsen just had to sweep it in. And it's one We've been the better team. Still 1-0. We need another goal. Change coming. Hannibal's not had his day. Sommer Reeve is a big game player. He's going to come in. I will leave one change up my sleeve. Free kick. Jefferson's good on the dead ball. Ball in. Carlos! Lilson Carlos! Staring defeat in the face of adversity. We were looking into the depths of despair. And Carlos has headed us back into it. It's 2-2 on aggregate. It's 2-0 on the night. We're staying 4-4-2. We're going for it. 75 minutes played. 2 new SFB. We sniff blood. One more, the crowd chant. One more. Nildo looking dead. Keep him out there. Time ticks away. Is there going to be a 90th minute winner? Time ticking into the 90th. Extra time we go. Wow. It's Denmark, baby. The fans are going ballistic. We are going to extra time. Very pleased with that. I don't want to take Neil off here, but fuck, he's fucked. He is absolutely rooted. I don't want to take him off. He's my best player. I'm actually thinking Jose Ramiro at right back. Now, that sounds a bit crazy, but he can play there awkwardly. But the fact is, is that em is Emre Chan still on for them? He is. Playing on the left-hand side, which is our right-hand side. He's probably the one that's the most dangerous, isn't he? I'm thinking about putting Jose Ramiro at right back, because if he bombs past Nildo, he can whip the ball in, A. But B, because he's physically really good and can tackle, and he's a very good defender for a guy that's a winger, he could stay with him for speed. That's my worry. 
Like, he's got good tackling. He's got good work rate. He's got good pace. And just run Nildo into the ground because he could buy us the goal. Jefferson scored an extra time in the Europa League final. How do you take him on? Chan's gas too, yeah, but Chan can produce one moment of magic. Don't think he will. I don't think they will sub him off. Carlos on the other side could be an issue. Nildo's not had his game. That's a big, big, big call to take off your best player for a guy that missed a couple massive chances. What about pen taking? What is Nildo's penalty taking? 10. Jose's is 10, so there's not much change there. Carlos has got 9. Moose has got... That's actually a fair shout. Tw uh, 10. Molgaard's got 10. So they all got 10s. Carlos had 9. Ah, uh, Jose Ramiund. Herbert Berlin have 30 minutes to score one away goal. If they score one, we need two for 4-1. If we get one, we're in the prime seat. Oh, my God. Just didn't want to see that highlight at all. Huh? All right, a bad. Fine feet here. You can't afford to it. We've actually got one of our players is actually in the referee's kit. So we've got a few of our players in the referee's kit. What's going on here? Ball, Emre Chan. Don't you dare. Sandra Bloom stands him up. Emma Rich. Chan's in. A bad. What a save. Come on. See, that's why I wanted to get Jose Ramu and he just licked him with a one-two, seeing the bloom. That's actually really annoying me that two of my centre backs are in bloody referees' kits. Kill her, mate, and away we go. Highlight, please, football manager. Highlight, please, football manager. Summary wins the ball back. It's so hard to pick up who's who in the middle of the part there. Time ticks away. Jefferson for Carlos. Feel like I'm gonna need to. I don't like a throw in here. Yeah, in a second, I'm busy. Kill her, mate. Carlos wins it. Misses the tackle, Paddy, they're in. Oh, wide. Oh, we're not playing well at all out here. Every highlight's gone there. Every highlight's gone to them. Every highlight's gone to them. What's Jefferson's penalty taking? Nine. Do it, screw it. So, all right, Summer Eve is going to win it late. To Man Moore, we want a winner. Time ticks away. 130th minute. A goal for them would send us out. A goal for us would send us through. Nielsen wins it. Lars, here we go. Runners, Jose needs a ball. Summer Eve, inside, inside, inside. Plays it. Nielsen, the Brazilian! Oh my days, we have not just done that. Park the bloody bus now. They've gone 4 4 2. Great. Go back into 4 3 3, that's fine. Nielsen can play out wide. Ronald can play in here. Summer Eva into there. Jose into there. Done. It works. System works. Am I, can I make one more change? Just going to double check that. I cannot. A goal for them would send them through, by the way. A goal from Herbert Berlin would send them through. We do not want to see a highlight. Time ticks. It t Oh, no way. No way. Paddy Horn. No way. No way. No way. No way. No! Jose! A bad one time. No, please, no way, man. They've done nothing. One time a bad. 
Who's taking it? Anne Rank Chan. Fuck off. He ain't missing. Jose Rami Un. Why? He's a penalty saver as a bad butt. Fuck off. Fuck off, man. Really? A bad versus Emro Chan. Oh, no, you saw, oh, I saw his name come up. I thought he did it. Should have saved it. Should have saved it. No way, man. No way, huh? There's no way I just watched that. There's no, there's no way I just watched that, right? No way we just watched that. <sighs> Who set up the Nielsen goal is the question. See what I mean? Joseph has a good ball in the summer either. Fucking hell, man. <sighs> Jose Rami and da. Jose Rami and misses two massive chances and then does that. Fuck off. Change of formation worked. Wow. There's only one thing left to do. Only one thing left to fucking do when that happens. I don't believe I just watched that. Just get out of my fucking football club. Fuck off. We win three one on the night. We lose four for what? Four all on ag three all on aggregate. We lose on away goals. A hundred and twenty second minute penalty, ah. Huh? For Herva sees them go through to play Bayern in the semi. We were more or less about 10, 15, 20 seconds away from being in the semi final for the first time in the Champions League. Just, uh, I've not lost a more brutal game than that. I've not lost a more brutal game than that. That is probably the most brutal way I've ever lost a tie, ever. So brutal. How are we not in the semi-final there? We did everything we could. We went 4-4-2. We dominated them. I think that was only their second shot on target. Probably deserved the goal, to be fair to them. That is so brutal, man. 122nd minute pen. It's all because... Yeah, it's not going to show me. All because Jose's an idiot. Wow.
Just wow. No way. Can't fault the boys. If we can somehow keep that team together, it may happen. Because this was the year, man. This was the year. It was so open. Give me Bayern Munich in a semi. We've played them before. We've beaten them at home before. We've got a lesser side than what we have now. Instead, there we go. There was no shame losing to that Herbert Berlin side. They were world class. But probably shame in the way we did it. That we went out. 3-0 up, 122nd minute. I don't think I can do anything different. Go 4-3-3 because three, three, it's we've barely conceded goals all year. And then it's just it's just a moment of madness from a player that is so dumb and stupid. Like, get out of my football club. And yeah, it is what it is. All right, guys. End of episode 149 ends in the most brutal way I've ever lost a game in Football Manager in all my years of content creation. Just going to make that Champions League moment oh so sweeter. But it's going to be a big chance to keep A, the squad the same, and B... We can only hope that we're going to be in the Champions League in this position in 12 months' time, and I can't guarantee that because, you know, we might get the group of death again or, you know, we might find that we have Real Madrid, PSG, Bayern, Liverpool, all those boys, and all of a sudden you go, yeah, right, who, who are you going to beat? This was the year. This was the year. Instead, we're out. I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.